neighbor laughs when man fills yard with tires, two years later begs him for a job. Benjamin is mortified, frozen in his tracks. He couldn't believe his neighbor had done this to him. Benjamin knew that the hundreds of tires in his front yard wasn't a pleasant sight to look at, but he had a good reason for them being there. He stands soaked in embarrassment and his head begins to spin. He vowed to make his neighbor pay, to feel the same level of embarrassment and shame that he felt right now. But little did Benjamin know that two years from now, he would be able to get his revenge. And his neighbor wasn't prepared for it. Not one bit. Benjamin Smith was an ordinary man, in an ordinary town. He worked as a carpenter and was well known throughout the community. He would be willing to do anything to help anybody out. But this down-to-earth man had no idea what was in store for him. Benjamin was used to getting by. With every dollar he earned as a carpenter, he put towards bills and rent, which didn't leave him much. He knew what it meant to struggle. But Benjamin had no idea what was about to happen to him when he stumbled across abandoned tires in his small town. One warm Saturday morning, Benjamin set off for a walk around his local town. But through each street he passed, he couldn't help but notice abandoned tires scattered around. He didn't know it at the time, but these abounded tires were about to change his life forever. Straight away Benjamin picked up the tire, and with all his effort, he rolled it back to his home. Passers-by on the street looked at Benjamin with confusion. What was he doing? Benjamin dismissed their stares and fingers pointing at him, and instead focused on getting the tire home. These people staring Benjamin thought to himself, they have no idea what's coming to them. For the following few days, like clockwork Benjamin set off to retrieve another tire and bring it back to his yard. And again, townspeople were stumped at what he was doing. Why would somebody want a dirty old tire? They said, stood gossiping about Benjamin. Nobody knew what he was up to, but Benjamin sure did. As the weeks passed, Benjamin's yard was getting fuller and fuller with tires. It was already a small yard so now it looked tiny, crammed with black tires. Benjamin didn't mind the mess, it would all be worth it in the end, right? Little did Benjamin know that someone wasn't too happy about his yard. Benjamin's neighbor Anthony wasn't happy with the tires in Benjamin's yard. He often laughed and pointed at Benjamin whenever he saw him. You obviously don't have a big enough house he yelled to Benjamin with a smirk plastered on his face. Benjamin felt embarrassment and shame wash over him as he felt his neighbor's nasty words cling to his body. But this neighbor would soon regret laughing at him. For as long as he could remember Benjamin very rarely had material possessions. Growing up, his family wasn't well off, and later on, in his adult life, it seemed like he couldn't catch a break. So when his neighbor started belittling him because of the tires in his yard, it only motivated Benjamin further to prove him wrong. To prove everyone wrong. You see, as Benjamin worked as a carpenter and had a lot of free time recently, he had started to experiment with designs and furniture pieces. And so, one warm Friday afternoon, after months of collecting random unwanted tires, Benjamin got to work on his plan. Nobody was expecting this and Benjamin had spent the weekend breaking a sweat and working away at his new design, using the unwanted tries. When he was finally finished he let out a sigh of relief and wiped away the sweat that dribbled down his forehead. It was finally completed. And the end result would leave everybody lost for words. Benjamin had transformed the old unwanted tires into tables, stools, and armchairs. Their finished look was truly beautiful. And as expected, they took off. Within a year of releasing and selling his new items, he made four times as much as what he used to make. It was incredible. But despite his success, Benjamin had no idea someone was about to come and rain on his parade. Benjamin didn't know it at the time, but somebody was watching Benjamin revel in his success and achievements. They had been watching his every move, envious of what he had accomplished. And they weren't too happy about it. The next two years flew by, and Benjamin and his creations had gone from strength to strength. He had gone national, with numerous towns 100 miles away wanting a piece of Benjamin's furniture. But when Benjamin kicked back and relaxed one Friday evening after a long week of work, he heard a knock at his door. He got up to answer, and as soon as he saw who it was he stood frozen in his tracks. As Benjamin opened the door to the unexpected visitor, his mouth dropped wide open to see it was none other than Antony. It was the neighbor that had ridiculed Benjamin. The neighbor that chipped away at his self-confidence. What did he want? What was he doing here? When Benjamin found out the truth, he was lost for words. I need a job Antony slowly muttered, avoiding all eye contact with Benjamin, the man he had ridiculed two years ago. I want it on your business, he said. Hearing this Benjamin felt joy from within. You really expect me to do that? Benjamin asked. 
Please Antony replied, begging at Benjamin. And for some strange reason, a smile crept up Benjamin's face. Benjamin didn't know what to do. On one hand, he wanted to shut the door on his face and head back into the living room. And then, on the other hand, he wanted to give his neighbor the benefit of the doubt. He was begging, so clearly he was desperate. What Benjamin did next left the neighbor just as humiliated as he made him two years ago. He had it coming, he simply responded with a quiet no and shut the door on his face. After that, he went back to his living room and enjoyed watching the football on his brand new plasma screen TV. She sees Benjamin forgive, but he has not forgotten. He sipped an iced Coca-Cola and he knew revenge was certainly sweet. Thank you for watching this fantastic story. Please tap one of the two videos on your screen for another amazing wonder stories.